Hello everybody. Happy Friday night. Um, I'm pretty excited that it's Friday and I'm um, sorry my hair is a mess. I drove home today with the roof down on my car because I was having the Friday feels and now it's it used to look good. It used to be kind of glamorous but now it's just kind of flat and floppy but that's okay. That's okay. Friday night. But anyway, I wanted to do a Timu haul because I got some stuff and I want to use it. And I like to do the Timu hauls um, and show you craft supplies and um, Halloween stuff and whatever, whatever we got in here. I haven't looked at everything. There's a few things I've taken out, um, but let's get started. This curtain back here, I showed it in one of my other hauls. And um, this is my shower curtain in my bathroom. And then I got these towels here at um, TJ Maxx. And I think that they're cute together. Anyway, so I just thought I'd do my video in the bathroom this time, just for something different. Um, and it's quiet in here. So I got another shower curtain for um, my upstairs bathroom. Uh, it's, the pictures look smaller on the, uh, you know, on the, on Timu. But there's a see the skeleton and then there's a meat cleaver. This has got all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what we would call this. I'm not sure, but it's kind of neat. And we got Wolfman over here and what else? And a big mouth and down at the bottom swamp thing. There's some crows. Um, I just liked the black and white with the green. I like green. So anyway, I thought this would be fun to use. And when you buy those, they do come with the um, hooks, the plastic kind of hooks like this. Um, they work okay. Oops, dropped it on the floor. Anyway, the shower curtain was $12.48. And um, what's next? Oh, my son got some, I got him some of those wireless b39 headphones if anybody knows what those are and that he was pretty excited about that so he's already grabbed them he hasn't told me given me any feedback on them yet but i'm sure if he hated them he would have told me by now but um let's do some craft supplies i got this silicone um i have a fingernail that doesn't have polish on it ignore that but i have some silicone these are uh coaster molds that you can use with resin. I got the spider web and I got this one is like of a graveyard. I thought that would be kind of neat to make some coasters and those were a dollar 49 each which I think is pretty good for a uh, silicone mold. This one right here is for my die cutting machine and it's a whole bunch of different little ghosts. Um, and I'm going to do a video on using those for some projects around the house. We'll see how they work. Um, it's going to be fun testing out these craft supplies. And, oh, and this one right here. I'm kind of excited about. Oh, I didn't tell you. Hold I'm getting so excited about my stuff. The ghosts were $2.19. Um, okay, this one's on the same page. So... This mold is $3.59 and it is um, one piece candle holder mold and it's one of those ones that's made to look like the, uh, the crystals but it's got like a hole in the middle so that you can put like a little tea light thing once it's finished like one of these kind fits down in, in the middle of it once you make them and I'll also do one of these and show you how it works on the video. I do have one already and it works great. That's why I bought another one. And I got this. These are, what are they calling these? This is, it's called four piece set pearlescent resin art. I don't know, it cuts it off. But it's, this is the light purple set. But I guess I haven't used these before in resin. I'm kind of new at using resin other than just making like, a, you know, like a ponds and that kind of thing and little scenes that I've done with my son before in the past. But um, I've, I'm excited to use these and see how this works. If you know anything about how to use these, 
tell me down in the comments because this is new to me and I'm, I'm thinking that it'll be kind of neat to mix with my resin when I'm doing um, this particular mold. The uh, spider web and the tombs, the graveyard coasters, I'm probably just going to mix paint in with it to get the colors that I want. So, but that is new to me. Um, these are, I'm really excited about these. Um, I mean, it's a simple thing, but it's like a doily. It's a doily bat. See that? And what I'm going to do with these is for decorating my house for Halloween in my dining room, I'm going to use these on my tie backs for my curtains. And I thought that would be kind of cool. Those were, how much were they, Heather? They were a dollar twenty-seven each, so that's pretty good. I would have I would have paid that at another store. These I'm excited about. Hold hold on, where is it? These were a dollar twenty-seven. Gothic horror cartoon monster mysteries shop earrings. These are. Dracula earrings and they're they have the picture on both sides so when you're wearing them and they spin around you'll see you'll see the um, picture no matter what side and the reason I like these is if you've seen the mask that you can get from Spirit Halloween this looks like that mask and if you've watched my other videos where I've done my haul in my craft room I have that hanging on my wall in there right now but it's getting ready to get moved up to the living room for um halloween what else is in my bag oh this is not a huge haul and i have a few things i've already taken out um what's that um this right here is kind of fun my husband thought this was hilarious because um you know you like to do your makeup and be able to see what you're doing i got a pair of these one-eyed glasses so i can do my eye makeup on this eye and then when i'm done with that eye i can switch the lens over there and do the this eye kind of freaky <laughs> what if you wear it up here and you put like an eyeball on your forehead that'd be kind of fun but these are um the powers like a two that's a pretty strong two. Usually I go with a 175 on reading glasses, but that two is, that's a potent two. I noticed that Timu doesn't have a lot of um, 175s on her glasses, but that pair, that I wouldn't call it a pair, that rotating lens glasses is $3.49. Oh, now this right here, this right here is, let me show you. Okay, it's this is a anti-wrinkle eye cream, and I bought a couple things from Timu um, to try, and I'm only trying one thing at a time, like one thing for like a week, and then I'll try something else because I, if something gives me a rash or something, I don't want to not know which item it is that's causing it. But this stuff right here, um, so far, I really like it. Um, it smooths out your eyes really good when you put your makeup on in the morning. I probably could use it now because um you know it's the end of the day and i've been looking at a computer screen all day and i'm beat this one right here i haven't tried yet but it is a um a pore refining serum that you can use on your forehead or your nose but i thought you know if i'm going to use it anywhere on my face the pores are probably i need it most on my nose the rest of it is okay but you know, I'll probably slather that crap all over my face. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I have um, some seven-day nail repairing serum. I haven't used it yet. haven't taken it out of the plastic. This, did I tell you how much that last thing was? What? We'll see. The one that I've tried already, the eye cream, was $3.99. The... Okay, the seven day nail growth serum is $2.47. I don't know if it works yet. I'll try it and let you know because my fingernails are just, they just don't grow. They just, they grow, but they peel and they just break and fall off. Okay, this one right here, I'm excited. I'm going to open it and try it out right now. This is 
It's a um, nourishing hand cream. I want to try that out. Let's see. It's clear. Oh. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Smells okay. Hmm. Let's see. This feels like Well, it soaks in pretty good. It goes on feeling kind of like that, um, the goop that they put on your belly when you get an ultrasound. That's what it goes on feeling like, kind of, with a little bit of a chill to it. Um, barely a smell, but it does feel good. Not sticky. We'll see. I could use some more on this hand. Let's see. But this, did I say how much this was? $2.18 by Dream Beauty. Mm. But this is what it looks like. Feels good. It's not greasy. Um, I'm kind of liking that. Um, that did I tell you that nail stuff was $2.47. Um, let's see what else. What else? This I got as a, a freebie. It says it's, I don't know, is it a lip plumper or is it just a lip gloss? It doesn't say that it's a plumper. I don't think it's a plumper, but I don't want to put it on because my lipstick that I have on is an all day wear. And when you put something on that's a different brand, um, it's the, uh, the CoverGirl All Day Lipstick, and then you have the top coat. I'll put some top coat on for moisture. That feels better. But I thought the container that this was in was kind of cute. So um, I think it's a dupe of some sort, but I don't know what, what brand it's a dupe for. Okay, put trash in there. This isn't a huge haul, and I do have a few things. Like I said, like my son took his thing out already. And then I have some cats that I'll be showing in my Halloween home tour. It'll be in my kitchen. I've already put them in there. So, all right. So I got this. This is really cute. I'm excited about it. And what you do, I have my copy, is you put this on here like this, like this. And then when you're taking a drink, you take it off and have your drink and put it back on to keep your straw clean. Especially if you're like in a car and your purse straps hitting it and that kind of thing. And it's cute. Come on, look. It's 3D. It's cute. And it was, I'm going to put these glasses back on. Can't see. It was $1.79. And I feel like the quality is really good. I'm happy about that. Oh, I got a sweatshirt too that I don't have down here. It's $9.89. And I'll wear it in one of my next videos because um, it is a um this is it right here it's a uh it's a ghost with hitchhiking trying to get to um trying to get to salem oh and i got these i'm excited about these and i need to wear these soon i'm gonna run out of summertime if we go get lobster i am wearing these i cannot wait look at those those are fantastic. See, they're big sparkly lobsters. That'd be good to go eat lobster, right? <laughs> and they're lightweight. Um, really cute. I'm excited about those. And they were, how much were they? Those were, I know they're on here, $1.34. And I feel like they're worth it. A lot of the uh, acrylic earrings and stuff on Amazon are kind of expensive. So, okay. Got to have this one in two baggies. Okay, it's a ring. It feels very, like, really lightweight. 98 cents, though. But this is what it looks like. Let me see what fingers it got to fit on. 
Of course, it's going to be my finger that doesn't have a nail polish, but that's what it looks like. I think that could be cute, like with a certain outfit. I wouldn't wear it very often because it feels like it would tarnish pretty quickly. But yeah, it's really wiry and thin, very lightweight, but 98 cents, you guys. What do you expect? Um, okay, here's another jewelry item. If I can open it. Come on now. Scissors. This one's kind of cute, I think. And this one costs... This was 89 cents. Totally worth it. If you like Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, this one is definitely worth, worth that. Um, it's a good size. Let me see. If you were wearing it on your shirt, see, it's a decent size. And a nice statement piece. If you wanted to, you could get two of these, especially for that price. Um, and wear them on each side of your shirt right here. That would be kind of cool, especially if you wore like a green sweater with a white shirt and had these on there, or even a purple shirt because she's not purple on this, but a lot of times when you see Bride of Frankenstein, she's a little bit purple, like a light purple. Okay, here is a necklace. And this necklace, I believe, I have a pair of earrings that are a bottle of, I mean, it's a, um, yeah, a bottle of wine and a glass of wine one for each ear and ooh, it's tangled oh my gosh let's see uh, hmm. this feels very how much was it let's see that first okay a dollar 49 this feels like it should be a dollar 49 they have some more options on there, and I'll probably try a different one, but this is what it looks like. This, it's a necklace, and it has a bottle of wine pouring into the glass. Now, the earrings I got from Timu, the quality is way better than this. It feels, I don't know, can they mix plastic with metal to make jewelry? Because that feels what, like what it is, but, you know, I can probably wear it one or two times and have it not be tarnished, and we'll see. We'll see on that one. I'm glad it wasn't very expensive. Um, how much did I say? $1.49? Um, one thing I don't have in here, um, if you're into the Bride of Frankenstein, I don't have it in here. So, um, let's see. It's these earrings right here. And I was kind of looking forward to having them. And on their site, it does say that they're metal. But it doesn't, I didn't know that they were, they're like this big and they weigh way too much for my ears. So I'm going to use them in some other way. But if you don't like really heavy earrings, don't get those. They're $1.79. They're very heavy. Go with a different option for Bride of Frankenstein for the earrings. Skip those. They're going to make your ears get stretched out and you're going to be disappointed. Okay, I had something else. Did I show you? There's the fingernail stuff. I think I showed you that. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really talk about it too much. Um, but I guess I think that is it on this haul. And um, I'm going to be trying some of the stuff out. And I'll have a video coming up that I'll let you know how some of the craft supplies work. Um, be watching for that. Most of them are going to be Halloween craft supplies for right now because we're almost at Halloween and I'll have my Halloween home tour coming up. So, you know, I need to add some those ghosts. I'm going to do something in here. I have a window right here and I have a plan to use those ghosts here and I have a little tree over there and I'm going to use them for that. Um, so come back, come back and see what I do with my uh, stuff. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And, um... If you've tried out any of the stuff that I've got that I haven't tried out yet, let me know uh, what you thought of it. And if you, um, you know, if you liked my video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It helps because when you give somebody a thumbs up on their video, it makes it so YouTube puts it out so more people can see the video. It like helps you with your algorithm. 
Um, my channel's growing really slow. I, you know, I'm trying. Maybe I'm just not that interesting. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, probably. But anyway, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. It'll help me put out better videos and more videos and buy better equipment and that kind of thing. And um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload a new video because right now is the time. I'm doing lots of stuff. I have more videos already in the works. So um, anyway, have a good night, everybody. Happy weekend. Bye.